I call this look a little nerdy chic. So I'm just jumping right into my makeup tutorial with you today. These are actually my blue light glasses so I can stare at the computer that much longer. Um, I wanted to do a makeup tutorial today that is going to give you life. So in the last two weeks, I've been really reaching for bright colors, bright, you know, lips. I've been wearing white on whites, like everything has had this theme. So I have a photo shoot coming up for this collection. It is going to actually go into the collection that I have two already that I've had such great feedback for, which is show up and then my summer heat. These are two vinyl lip lacquers. Um, th this was a new formulation for me to launch and I've had such great feedback. I love wearing them. They're so comfortable. They're basically a, like a hybrid. It's a, it's like a liquid lipstick, but it has high watt shine. So it's not a, a gloss, it's long wear, intense pigments, fade proof. It's just such a beautiful formulation that I wanted to bring in four more into the collection. So I recently previewed um, a new one called Give Me, a new one called Gives Me Life. And that's exactly how I feel. So I was thinking about like, what am I going to name this? Like, what am I going to, to really have the feeling behind it? And it really is about giving me life. Like I would wake up in the morning and I wouldn't feel that great. And I needed something bright. Now I have an alternative for you ladies that if you don't like a bright orange red, of course I have an alternative that's more subdued, that's a little bit more natural in the pink family and it's called pink sand. So this whole collection is about escapism, right? So it's called Escape 2. So Pink Sand is basically one of my favorite places and it's in Harbor Island and they have pink sand. That's what they're known for is their pink sand beaches. So I'm gonna do this beautiful tutorial. If you have your own products that you love, you can follow along by using your own products. I'm gonna be using Nicole Cosmetics. I do have a Bobbi Brown product. I do have also an Ever product called Vacay that I'm gonna be featuring and something very exciting. I have a BB cream launch coming in July. So excited about this. It has collagen, it's for mature skin. It has titanium dioxide. Um, I've just been really, excited about launching some new things to give us some inspiration. Yes, I'm breaking the rules because I'm wearing brown, I'm wearing tan, and oh, I guess I can't wear that because I have silver hair and I have very fair skin. Not so much right now though, because I've been using the Corez Self Tanner. They just had a world launch on HSN. I happened to like see it on Instagram and then I went to go buy it and it was sold out. And I was like, what, <laughs> how'd that happen? So I reached out to Corez. I'm like, please, please, please send me your self tanner. And they sent it to me. I've been using it. So I look much more tan in my latest photo shoot that I did for Gives Me Life because I was like, I have to have darker skin. I can't have such pale skin and I'm Greek, come on. So it's summertime. I wanted to, um, I just wanted to have something, that, you know, listen, I, I just did a video for you. Um, on pores my skin's all prepped ready like my pores are looking so good with this one tool that i showed you and i got very emotional in the video which hasn't happened since my days of vlogging for not just a beauty blogger with ivf don't know where it came from kind of know where it came from but um i just wanted to be transparent authentic and i thought oh God, i don't even know if i can salvage this video but I want you to really see who I am. So that's what happens. I can't edit everything out because then I'm like a robot and like, here's my YouTube channel and this is what I do on Instagram and you don't really get to know me and it's all like, you know, cookie cutter and this is what I do and this is my brand. I don't want to be like that. Like I, I am human just like everybody else going through a very difficult time with the current events and I'm just showing up my best self and hopefully I'm inspiring you with what I'm creating, what my collections are about, what my line's about, what I'm about. And speaking of, if you don't want to self tan, hasn't been my thing forever. I don't know if I did such a great job the other day, but I'm working on it. Ever has, which just came back into stock, called Vacay, self tanning drops. You just put this into your moisturizer. You can use it by itself, but you just put a couple drops depending on how much of color you want to have it's gradual you put these into your moisturizer and you have this beautiful tan so you can do it in your face your neck decollete whatever you want to do this is a really great thing so i just bought actually five more of these because i was like i have to have a little arsenal of them maybe a little giveaway soon i don't know all right so 
First and foremost, my skin's prepped. You can go back to the video on pores, on what I did. I used some new product. Um, I'm gonna start with my eye and lip primer that I always do. This is going to prime your eyelids. This is can prime your lips if you're wearing a beautiful red or you want your lips to stay or maybe you have very highly pigmented lips and you need to tone them down before you put on your, you know, maybe a lighter color. Before I start, I'm gonna move this mirror. I just wanna let you know about this mirror. This is called Superhuman, right? So this is a mirror that you actually, when you get in front of it, it turns on, which is what I love. You little USB in the back here that you charge it, you can turn it on, and then when you walk in front of it, it turns on. It's amazing. Five times magnification. So I saw this on sale on Nordstrom's, I bought it, and on the back, I actually broke mine, but so I, took, I bought another one, I, got, I have it at home. It's a 10X. So this literally comes off the magnet and then you put it on in the middle here so you can really see everything, ladies. <laughs> it's actually a blessing and a curse, right? So I love this mirror, but I can't use it when I'm doing tutorials because I have to be like this close to it and you're, I'm gonna be out of frame or whatever. And it, it, it keeps giving me like a little bit of a bright brightness on there. Back to the makeup tutorial, all right priming my eyes with my eye and lip primer. I want true colors. I want to take away all this, this redness, this discoloration on my um, eyelids. So I'm going to just take my concealer brush. You can take your, I feel like using my concealer brush today. You can take your fingers if you want to. It's nice and creamy. It's going to really nicely prime your lids. I do my eyes first before I do anything else because I don't want any fallout. I want to have, I don't need a perfect canvas because for me, it's kind of, kind of counterproductive. Like I'm gonna beautify everything and then I'm gonna start putting eyeshadow on and then I'm, no. I do nothing on my face. It is going to be a blank canvas. It is primed. I'm going to do a little bit of sunscreen before I actually start putting on anything else, just so you can see what I'm using. But I go into the corner here. I go all the way up to my brow bone. I only use a little bit down to the actual base of my lashes right here, just right above them. I want the whole lid primed. I want it to be really nice. I will pat it in. This is exactly what I do every day. So I have this nice, beautiful, neutral looking eye and I'm not competing with any redness, any darkness. All of this in here needs to go, right? All of that darkness needs to go. So I'm just going to put this on and have it look really, really nice and neutral. All right, so today we're working with rewrite the rules. Hence why I'm wearing like a color that I'm not supposed to be wearing, right? I'm rewriting the rules. I'm wearing, or I'm going to be wearing a nice dove gray, soft matte palette. Really been popular. I love this palette because I love to pair it with a bright lip, a subdued lip, a pink lip. Like you can do a lot of different options when you're wearing a more of a neutral palette. This is gonna be a cool palette. So I'm just going to put on the main color, which is the center color, just really nicely, I'm gonna put it on. And you notice that, I've said this a lot in my videos recently, um, that basically I like to place the product, right? I like to place the product on where I really want the product to be, where I want the concentration of the product to be. So I'm placing it like this compared to going like this, right? That's where you're gonna run into problems because you want to have the product right where you want it, especially when we start going into contour. So basically that's what I do. And then I can sweep over and just make sure everything is you know, nicely blended together. But for the most part, when I first go into the eyelid, I want to press it in so I'm knowing exactly where it's going. I'm not just kind of going all over the place because then that's not when you're gonna get that really nice, clean, polished look. So that's what I do. I basically nicely pat it on. I really want this to stay where I want it to stay. And I really wanna have more control over where my color goes on my eyelids. So this brush was my eyeshadow brush. I am using my, my essential makeup brush kit that I have here. I created eight brushes that are specifically designed to make your life so much easier. So you don't need a million brushes that roll out. You just need specific ones that are going to place the product nicely, are gonna make your life so much easier, and you don't have to fiddle around with like a huge brush, small brush, like what do I do? So I designed them to be very easy for you to use. So now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go into my little smudge brush. It's my favorite brush. I like it because it has small little bristles here. 
So I can pick up the product and I can literally put, I'm gonna do the darkest color here, this like dark, nice dark char charcoal gray. And I'm gonna go in just in this, oh, I just wanna give a little bit of depth. You know, this isn't about how much makeup can I put on to my skin. I just want a little bit of depth. I want something to be a little bit darker. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now look, don't get all upset when you see this and you're like, oh, it doesn't look perfect. We're gonna blend that out. So when you first apply, it's just like if you're a painting, it doesn't just automatically look amazing right when you do it. It's a little bit of a process. So right now I'm not upset. I don't exactly want it to be right there, but that's okay. I'm just placing the product less is more i don't go all the way in i stop right here because again i'm going to blend it so it's going to go all together and it's going to look amazing but at the beginning it doesn't look that great so again this isn't youtube makeup okay this is makeup for women that want to look put together that want to be simple this isn't 77 steps this isn't 50,000 products this isn't about baking your face or contouring your face this is about placing makeup to enhance your beauty not to cover it up you know so this isn't i don't compare my makeup to anybody on youtube because it doesn't look like anyone else is on youtube okay this is the way i apply it this is the way i apply it in my fierce aging series on women from 40s to 101 my my cute oh by the way henrietta a lot of you were asking about henrietta my 101 year old gorgeous woman that i did makeup on she's doing very well so i know that you've been asking so again, this isn't about, this isn't about, you know, oh, they do it this way, this, this way. Not, I don't, this is not the only way to do makeup. This is a way to do it to enhance your beauty and look beautiful in your 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and again, 100, right? So, you know, I, I don't, I don't stress out about like everyone having all these, you know, 50,000 products and that's not that's just not that's just never how I've done makeup that's not how I want to do makeup so I'm going to just take now this is going to be a really great contour brush that I'm going to just go in and I'm going to blend it all together right so I it's going to look nice and smooth again I'm going to take my all my pad so I don't I don't mind that anything comes out here again less stress ladies nothing has to be absolutely spot on perfect oh it went outside the lines okay that's fine, we're gonna clean it up. I just wanna have a little bit of this darker color blending in with the lighter color. That's all, it just takes a little blending. So again, see where I am? I'm in the corner of my eye, right? So then I'm going to just go right, see where my brow bone? I'm like underneath the brow bone. I'm just like a little windshield wiper, right? And I can go in a little bit further if I want to. I don't have to but I want it to be nice and blended. So again, color theory, darkness is going to have that recede. So if you have more of a hooded eye, you have to create that kind of eyelid. You're gonna to have to create, you're gonna to have to fudge it a little bit. And I'm gonna be doing, yes, I know it's been highly requested. I'm going to be doing a video on hooded eyes. Right now it's quite complicated because I can't have anyone in the studio, as we all know, but it's in the works. Um, <laughs> It's in the works, so just know it's coming. I hear you, I see you, and it's coming. So, nice and just pretty and blended. So, right now, I'm gonna take my little Ame pad real quick, and I'm gonna just clean up what is there underneath my eye. And then I get a nice, perfect, crisp line. Anything that is there comes off, don't have to worry nice and clean so you can see just cleaned up underneath we're fine so makeup looks a little bit weird when you only have eyes done it kind of looks like nothing you know that's okay it all comes together once we start doing mascara and brows and then i have my bb cream what have you all right so one last step with eyeshadow i'm going to take my same eyeshadow brush just going to wipe it off and um i'm going to use the lightest color which is a nice it's a nice bone matte color here. And I'm gonna just go above my eyebrow and just nicely make that a little bit lighter, just a little bit of a highlight. So it all is married together, it comes together nicely and it looks really pretty. All right, so I'm gonna brush my brows just cause they're bothering me. So let's just brush them up with my little spoolie. All right, 
so now let's do a little bit of liner. So I'm gonna be using my Ultimate Brow and Eye Cream Liner. This is a 24 hour stay. It has a little brush that is actually built into it. If you actually bought this, I wanna let you ladies know that you have to clean off this brush because it will build up and then it's gonna get stiff. So you want that to be nice and clean. So every time you use it, just clean it off so it stays perfect and you can apply perfect brow strokes that are gonna stay there until you take it off with waterproof makeup remover or your eyeliner, perfect for summer. This is such a great thing. Even if you're out gardening and you want your full brow to stay throughout the whole gardening um, experience <laughs> and you don't wipe off half your brow, this is a great product for that. This just launched. So I'm gonna use this though today as my, my eyeliner and I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna do my Signature technique of applying eyeliner. And then with this though, since it's creamy, I just put a little bit on my hand just so I don't have too much going in on my on my eye. So let me grab a mirror since I don't have my, my extra special glasses on. So what we're gonna do is, I stay very, very close to the lash line, all right? So I stay close to the lash line and I'm almost trying to thicken up the lash line, right? So you're really, really close it's a beautiful look because you're just dragging it across, darkening, thickening up that lash line, but you're not creating a really heavy, heavy eyeliner. That's been my thing. Like, I just want you to really define your eyes, but I don't want you to create so much heaviness that it ages your eye. So I'm just gonna taper it down in here. It's a very easy brush to use because it's so small, it's angled, and so I can just, See how I'm doing? Just little strokes and then, now you if your eyes go down a little bit, you don't have to go all the way down to the corner, right? Stop a little bit before because that's going to help you not feel like you're dragging your eye down with a darker eyeliner. So again, this is the dark brown. I'm just utilizing it in this, this manner or I'm, I'm applying it in this manner, but I only have a certain amount of time to work with it because it stays put which is so great. So you just have to work a little bit more quickly than you would in a regular eyeliner. And then I'm gonna go in and do the other eye now. I love the look of this. I think it's just so pretty. And I love the fact that it stays because it's summertime and I need stuff to stay and not move around. Um, also, what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to, I'm not gonna line my bottom lashes with that. I'm gonna just take my little smudgy brush, my what I like to call my little eraser, and I'm gonna take the darkest color in the palette and I'm just gonna sweep underneath it. So I have some kind of dimension, but I don't have a liner. I don't want anything that's like too definitive. I just wanna just soften this up. I, I usually do this like with my powders cause it gives me just enough, but not too much, not over the top. All right, so we're gonna do mascara. I'm gonna take my Nicole Cosmetics mascara that I've had such great feedback on. Thank you for letting me know ladies because I worked really hard on getting a mascara that really, really separated your lashes. You didn't have mascara dandruff all over your face. It didn't smudge, it didn't move. Again, I'm curling my lashes with my Shuamura lash curler. I've been working on my heated eyelash curler. I get so many, so many questions about that. I'm in production for that. So just so you know, I am working on it. So this mascara is nice and creamy. This is a black, that's the only color I have. It has a beautiful curved wand. It's flat though, that's what makes it so unique. So it's a flat mascara wand with teeth on both sides. So you're gonna grip your lashes and really show your lashes. And I wanted this because a lot of us have short lashes or thin lashes, especially like my mom, her, they're very delicate and they're just kind of sparse and I want, I want her to get every single lash. So basically you go to the base, I like to just wiggle out and then almost like I'm closing my eye down, the brush stays still and I pull it up. So again, I go to the base, I wiggle because I want those teeth to really grab my lashes and I pull down on my, like I close my eye basically. And I just, I feel like the slower I go sometimes, it just really gives me beautiful, beautiful application. And then a little trick that I like to do once I get my mascara on, I like to turn, I will turn the wand so it's the flat side and I just coat 
my lashes a little bit more. It's like perfect. It's like the perfect, you know, like <laughs> multifunctional wand without being a big, big spiral where I used to always get it on my nose or I used to get it all over the place because the brush is just too big. I want something very, very, you know, uh, direct and going right to my lashes and, and you can keep layering as you can see i could keep layering and it's not getting clumpy so amazing so i'm going to do my other eye when i do my mascara in my videos i like to mention that i do use a lash serum that i sell on my website i've been using it for the last four years it's only 65 dollars, so that's what's so great um and it's a last for three months and it's the grande lash serum i also use the brow serum too those are two of my little secrets of keeping my brows thick and also my lashes long and thick. So I think as we age, we always need extra help, right? It's just like serums in the face. I'm feeding my lashes, I'm feeding my brows. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply my BB cream. I'm using Light. This is my new BB cream that's coming out for this summer. And it's a really beautiful, it's BB cream stands for Beauty Balm. It's going to even out my skin. It's almost like a multi-purpose product. It's going to give me hydration. It's going to be lightweight. It's gonna be really beautiful. And I'm going to just take my foundation brush. You can just apply it with a, with a beauty blender if you want to, your hands. I just feel like today I'm going to take it and I'm going to use this first with my foundation brush. Now, my skin's darker because I've been doing my little Corez um extra special self tanner so i want my bb cream to really kind of give me warmth to my skin and that's exactly what this is doing so it's kind of giving my cool skin some a little bit more warm so it matches my neck and it matches my body now that i'm getting a little bit more tan but this is beautiful this is going to give you that gorgeous glowy skin hydrated lightweight not greasy you don't feel like it's going to slip and slide all over your face it's going to be coming in four different colors so it's kind of like a, you can even layer this if you want to so it's i feel comfortable that you know you will fall into a light light medium medium or dark um not like a foundation because I, I can't come up with a foundation online right now since i don't take returns it's too hard for me because there's so many shade ranges and you know it's just it's just a totally different beast so this is beautiful you can see how nicely smooth it goes on and just really just feels very cooling and hydrating now for the fun part so i want to just do a little bit of a brightener this is lighten up underneath my eyes so i'm going to just take this i will use the beauty sponge so i'm actually just kind of tapping it on to my skin in this area that i just want a little bit you know i have that redness from biopsies and stitches and what have you underneath so i always like to do a little bit of just a little brighten up i mean it's called lighten up but it's a little bit of brightness underneath my eyes so this is wet beauty blender just take it and i'm going to just go underneath my eyes so I get a little bit of lightness there. It's always so wonderful to add lightness to the skin. And then I always, you don't have to set, but for me, I'm going to set my skin. I get a little bit of T-zone shiny. I'm just gonna take my powder brush. This is Nikita Banana. It has a yellow base to this powder and I'm going to just kind of give my T-zone underneath my eyes to a little swipe of this. So it all kind of goes together and it looks nice and uniformed. I'm gonna take Classic Beach. I've obviously hit pan on this and I haven't been able to replace it because we were out of stock until like three days ago. So I'm so excited that now I can refresh my palette, but I'm going to basically take my blush brush, go into the bronzer, it's a matte bronzer. I just wanna kind of give my skin just a little bit of definition and life if you will i'm going to go across with the same brush just a little bit of the peach color here it's a nice peachy soft blush just going to give my cheeks a little bit of a highlight just soft it's nothing like overdoing it and then what i would like to do is i'm going to show you two of the lipsticks the one the first one is gives me life this is the, the, the one that I really wanted to do and show you because it really does. It brightens up my face. I'm going to show you how it does that. 
And the second one, if you don't, actually I'm gonna put this on second because this is a lighter color. This is pink sand. If you want to be just more, you know, just chill and you wanna just still bring color and life to your face, but you're not that kind of person that wants to be more bright or bold, not a problem. I always give you variations. Um, you can use sweet, cold lip pencil or glacier pink. I'm going to be using the glacier pink or the sweet. So I'm gonna show you first how this is going to look um, with a lighter color. You might notice that my, my lips are, are a little glossy. I do have on my peppermint infused lip gloss just to give my, my lips a little bit of a treatment before I put on this vinyl lip lacquer. So this is gonna be the first color that we try out together. So you can see how high shine, how so pretty was so comfortable and just really soft. So this is called pink sand. Very pretty, very soft. If you're in the if you love pinks and you love to match grays with pinks, you want a little bit of life, a little bit of color, this is a really great route to go down. Now, I'm going to show you the bold color that is going to be fantastic. It's going to be very bold, very pretty. Um, I just think it looks great with white on white or wearing a white top and wearing, you know, regular jeans or I think you can kind of just sit out by your backyard. You can make yourself a cocktail, a mocktail, put on a straw hat and kind of feel like, you know, you're on vacation because when you're on vacation, that gives you life, right? You're like recharged, re-energized. So that is the feeling that is a thought process behind all of this is going to be that giving you life. I'm not even going to use a lip pencil. I'm going to just put this on and just have my face just give myself some color. You can see how much pigment I got out of just pulling it out. This is one swipe. So I'm gonna go back in and just do a little bit of detail work. And then it's so, it's so pretty. It is so bold and it is so bright. So if you like a tomato red or an orange red, this is the way to go. So basically that's, that's the look. That's showing you some new things. I didn't mention my SPF that I love, the La Roche Posay, the mineral. This is SPF 50. It's like a serum, you shake it, has two little balls in it, and you shake it and you put it on nice and light for the summer. It's not heavy, it doesn't smell like sunscreen. And you know, that's just kind of creating my look. Oh, now I can really see what it looks like. It looks like on. So this is, I, I actually look like I'm going on safari, don't I? That's the, actually the whole point that I get out, open range, nothing, just animals and calmness and sunsets and this is, this is kind of this this is my this is my inspiration and visual creating this just soft bold beautiful palette. So right now you get to see two of the new ones, right? Gives me life and pink sand and then it adds to the collection of show up and summer heat. So you have options. You'll get to see two more coming up in the next couple weeks. It's gonna be really exciting, really beautiful. And ladies, thanks for being with me today. I love you. I love every comment, everything that you say and help me with and ideas. And until my next video, I'll see you later.